Welcome to part two of this crochet cow tutorial. If you haven't already watched part one, then make sure to go do that. But otherwise, let's get straight into it. So now we are going to do our arms. So you're going to grab your pink yarn and your white yarn as you will need that in a moment. But we're going to start off with our pink yarn. So to begin, we are going to do eight single crochets into the magic ring with our pink yarn. Then for round two, we are going to do three single crochets and an increase times by two. But at the end of this round, we will be switching to white. Now for the next four rounds, we are just going to be single crocheting round with our white yarn. So from rounds three to six, we'll just single crochet all the way around. Now for the final round, we're going to do three single crochets and a decrease times by two. So once you've done that, you need to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. And then we are going to pull through to finish off. Now you need to make another arm exactly like this one. Once you have your two arms, you can put those aside and now we're going to move on to the horns. So you will need toffee colored yarn for the horns. And we're gonna start off by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. For round two, we'll be doing two single crochets and an increase times by two, which will take us up to eight stitches. Then for round three, we will just single crochet all the way round. Now you're going to want to leave a little bit of a tail for sewing. And now you can just finish off by pulling through. Now you're going to need to crochet another horn exactly like this one. So once you have your two horns, you can put those aside and now we will move on to the snout. So grab your pink yarn and we're going to start off by chaining seven. So go ahead and do seven chains. Now you're going to want to do five single crochets. So one into each of the chains, except for the last one. So go ahead and single crochet five times. So now on this last chain or the first chain that you did, you are going to do three single crochets into that chain. So one, 
two. Then we'll just bring the tail over, turn it round and three. And now we're gonna be working onto the other side of the chains. So you've just turned it around. And now we're going to do five single crochets into the other ch side of the chains, just like you did then. Then once you get to the last chain, we are going to once again want to do three single crochets into that very last chain. And now you are just going to single crochet all the way around. Once you've done that, you're going to need to leave a tail for sewing. pull through to finish off. Now we are going to move on to the sewing. So grab your head first of all and the first thing that we're going to be sewing onto the head is the snout. So the snout is going to go between the eyes so that the top of the snout is around one round above the eyes and then the bottom of the snout is just above the bottom of the head. So grab our snout and our yarn needle and we are going to start next to this eye over here because our tail is coming out of the side of the snout. So just right here, and then we're going to sew upwards. And we're basically just gonna be sewing all the way around the snout, and we'll slowly add stuffing as we go. So I'll just put my yarn needle into the next stitch, out of the following stitch, and then into the next part of the body. And we're just going to continue that all the way around. So once you're happy with how it is sewn on, I'm just going to bring my yarn tail through to the patch up here and then I can just cut it off. And now we're going to sew the ears on. So grab your ears and you want to make sure that both yarn tails from the ear are in the yarn needle when we begin sewing. So the first ear will be going directly on the bottom right part of the patch. So you see the eyes here. So we're going to bring the tail down here. So I've just brought the smaller yarn tail back here and we'll leave that alone for now because we will need it later for tying them together. And now we are going to sew in and out of the ear and the head multiple times with our yarn tail to make sure that it is secure. And now we want to bring the yarn tail back to the same point as the other yarn tail once we are happy with how we've sewn it on. And then we can tie these two yarn tails together and cut them off. So now we want to do the exact same thing with the other ears. So you can see how this ear is sewn on over here. So we want to find the identical spot on the other side to sew this ear on. 
So let's go ahead and sew the second ear on now. So once again, I'm just bringing the two tails back to the same point so I can tie them together. And this is what the cow looks like with both of its ears sewn on. Now we are going to sew the horns on. So the horns are gonna be positioned just behind but more towards the center of the ears. So just like this, they'll be just behind it but towards the center. So we're gonna go ahead and sew this first horn on now. So we'll just sew it right here, sort of behind the ear. And we're just going to sew around the horn and make sure it's in the correct position here. So once we are happy with how that's sewn on, we're just going to bring the tail back to a random point where we can tie it together with the other tail from the other horn in a moment. So now we're going to grab our other horn and we're just going to sew that onto the opposite side but with the same positioning. So it's just behind but more towards the center than the ear is. So now you'll just bring your yarn tail from this horn back to the same point as the other and now we can tie them together and cut them off. So this is what the cow's head looks like with its facial features. Now we can go ahead and sew this onto the body. So we're going to sew it onto the body. It'll be super easy since they both have 12 stitches. So we just need to line it up and go into one of each. So we'll just grab our yarn needle and grab the yarn tail from the head. And we'll just notice that this yarn tail is coming just off the left of the center of the head. So now you just need to find the just off the left of the center point of the body. So I've just found it here. So I'm gonna put my hook inside there and just pull through. And now I want to go into the next stitch of the head. So just across. So I'm gonna go this way. So I'm just gonna put my hook, I'm just gonna put my yarn needle through two stitches at once and then pull through. Next, we're going to put our yarn needle into the next two stitches of the body and pull through. Sorry, I have this upside down. It's just so I can see it better from a different angle. Next, we're gonna put our needle into the next two stitches from the head and pull through. And we just wanna make sure that the front is lined up. Yes, it is. And we're just gonna continue that process all the way around until you have securely sewn it onto the body.
So once you're happy with how it's sewn on, you can just bring the yarn tail through to a random point in the body. Where we will just cut it off. So this is what your cow looks like right now. A little bit funny with our arms, I would say. But we're gonna grab our arms to sew them on. I'm just gonna add a little bit of stuffing to each of the arms. And you're gonna grab your first arm and put the tail in your yarn needle. And we are just going to find a side point that's between the two rounds where you sewed on the head and the body. And we're just going to put our needle in there. So just through across two stitches and then we'll pull through. Now we'll put our needle into the other side of the arm and across and then back into the body and across. And now we're just going to sew in and out of the arm and the body multiple times until we are happy with how it is sewn on. And once we are happy, we're just going to bring the yarn tail to a random point at the back and we can tie it together with the yarn tail from the other arm in a moment. But first, we are going to grab our other arm and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we'll just go across between these two rounds, pull through, and then we'll go in and out of the arm and the body multiple times until we are happy with how it is sewn on. Now we're just going to bring the yarn tail to the same point at the back of the body and then we will just tie the two yarn tails together and cut them off. So this is what the cow looks like right now and it's really starting to look like a cow. And now we need to do the tail. So I'm going to be crocheting the tail on. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a slip knot and leave quite a big tail on the slip knot. And then we are going to single crochet into a, the point where we want the tail. So I want my tail to be about here. And now I'm going to single crochet there. And then chain five. Now I'm going to increase five times back into each one of the chains. And finally, we are going to do another single crochet back into the original spot where we did our first single crochet. Now we need to leave a bit of a tail and then we can pull through. Now you need to grab your yarn needle because you're going to need to get both of these yarn tails onto your needle. And we're gonna bring them both through to a random point in the body. So I'm just gonna bring mine over here underneath the arm. And now I will just tie these two yarn tails together and cut them off. And this is what the little tail looks like at the back. So now you have one last thing to do, which is completely optional, and that is to make your cow a strawberry bag. So if you'd like to do a strawberry bag, you will need green for the strawberry, but we're gonna start off with the pink. So we'll just put our cow to the side for a second. And we're going to begin by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. Now for round two, we are just going to single crochet round.
Now for round three, we are going to do single crochet and an increase times by three. This will take us up to nine stitches. For round four, we are once again just going to single crochet all the way around. And then for round five, we're going to do single crochet decrease times by three. And this will take us down to six stitches. At the end of this round, you're gonna to wanna to switch to your green. So you might want to add a little bit of stuffing to your strawberry at this point, just a little bit. Now for the next round, I'm just going to show you what to do. So we're going to be going into the front loops only. So in the first front loop only, we are going to yarn over, go into the first front loop, and we're going to do a double crochet. So pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through another two loops. Then in that same stitch, we are going to yarn over because we're going to do a half double crochet. So pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we are going to do a double crochet into that same stitch again. So we've done a double crochet, a half double crochet and a double crochet into that stitch. And now into the next stitch, we are just going to slip stitch into the front loops only. Now in the following stitch, once again, in the front loop only, we're going to do a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then finally, once again, a double crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet into the front loop only here. And then a slip stitch into the following stitch. So at this point we want to leave like a really long tail for the strawberry. So we need a long enough tail to sew the top of this strawberry shut, but also to go around the cow's shoulder. And then we're going to finish off. So you're going to grab your yarn needle. And we are just going to sew in and out of the back loops only here. So these are the loops that we didn't go into. And this is just to close the strawberry up. So just back and forth a couple of times. It's totally okay if the pink is still a little bit visible at the top as we won't really be looking at the top of the strawberry. And now you are going to grab your cow. So we wanna grab enough yarn that we can go around the whole shoulder and then back down. So it sits like a bag, just like this. So I want mine to sit just like this, I think. So I'm making sure that it's coming around the back side and down. And once I'm certain I've got the right amount of yarn, I'm going to sew into the top of the strawberry and just down to the bottom, just for now. And then we can adjust the amount of yarn that we need. So I'm happy with how that's sitting. And now this is up to you, but I want to sew my strawberry bag to the cow so that it stays at this set position on the hip of the cow. So I'm just gonna bring my yarn needle through to the side of the strawberry. So I want this side to be facing inwards and I'm just going to sew into the spot where I want the strawberry to sit in the, on the cow's body. 
So just like that, you can see now the strawberry is sitting where I want it to sit. And now if you want, you can just sew into the strawberry and into the body a couple of times to make sure that it is secure. And once you're happy, you can just bring the yarn needle to a random point in the body. And then you can just cut the yarn tail off. So this is what the completed cow looks like and the back of it. If you would like the written pattern for this cow, it is now available on my Etsy. So make sure to go check that out in the link in the description. But otherwise, feel free to drop requests for what tutorial you would like next. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.